Right, hello there everyone and welcome back to this Chaos Dwarf campaign. Let's go ahead and turn and see what transpires. Oh, we had this guy moving around. Loads of Chaos troops moving through our land. Luckily though, we are no longer at war with Chaos. So we can concentrate on other things. Ah, right. The League of Ostermark. Ah, oh, yes, this siege. This is gonna be nasty. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Let's go for it. We got tons of uh, humans out there crusading against us. And we got our faction leader, the main dwarf Reno. Luckily, though, we got a huge ass car. Right, so it actually crashed, so I was forced to cheat and win this battle. Actually, I didn't actually need to cheat, didn't I? Because I was clearly in within range of actually winning the Outer Assault. Um, right. But uh, on the good side, this doesn't put me back. Um, in in the sense that I will be able to continue my conquest. So even though I didn't actually have to cheat, right? Dorino. Hopefully the um, the Empire sees his folly and move back here to defend their own stuff rather than let chaos come and destroy everything. Right, these guys continue moving. We got this guy, supposed to build a tower here. Uh, what's I gonna build a tower there? Or maybe the port will help that out. M maybe it doesn't hurt to have a tower there. And then we can move him down. Uh, I more or less have every every special unit, don't I? Did I slave market? Did I have a Hey, what's it called? A yeah, small dog of war camp, I did have one. Can I recruit? I should be able to... Didn't it recruit trolls or something? I don't know. Let's make sure that they're building stuff in all camps. I could easily go through the other way, but since I started this way... I might as well, otherwise you could go through this way and click it like that, but since I've already gone through it this way, we might as well continue. This thing is broken. Brew pot? I don't think I need that. Actually, we'll do this. Ah oh yeah, the reinforcements were on the way. Dwarf reinforcement. Oh yeah, they were going down to uh, to what's it called? To replenish down here, where I can actually recruit dwarfs. I was hoping that I would be able to. Yes, we will hopefully be able to recruit cannons there, so we can lay waste to this place. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um. How much gold do I have? We're making 7,000. I would like to make more though. I want to assemble the troops I currently have. And then I want to see about maybe creating a new army. I want to structure it a bit. And then we can go for our weakling cousins in the south. Am I gonna have to watch all of these guys move around? Why have they split up all that stack like that? 
Now I'm not so sure it was a good idea to build all of those towers. Oh, here we go. Who's that? Is that the head honcho? The main one? I wanna see. Who is this? Right, like we care about him. No. But he, he looks a bit special. But he's not. There's so much chaos troops coming down. Right, where are you gonna go? Somewhere down where the fighting is. Yeah, keep moving along there. I was thinking about maybe building an army here, but we can't really move since he's blocking the way, so that's no point. Wait, most advanced is the orcs and goblins. Well, I've I've destroyed them. Have they? They're probably taken some town somewhere. That's the only reason why they can be. Uh Ah, Barizino, Bronzino, I mean, you've turned up to be a pain in the ass. Ah, we actually have Gunbad. Which is still controlled by the night goblins. But this army is only gonna go around building towers. So we can keep a vigil over the land. These guys should destroy them. Everyone's building stuff. No one was finished with anything, right? No. Right. Let's go ahead and then turn once more. And prepare our attack on the Dwarven Strongholds. Hopefully these guys will pass though, so we'll, we'll not keep seeing these guys constantly. Why don't they just merge all of those smaller units? This is what I thought would happen when the um, Storm of Chaos would come, that they would slowly make their way. Not that they would spawn in the middle of the Empire. If you remember in my Empire campaign when I play as Nordland, I get completely surprised. And I lose my capital and I almost lose everything, but I'm able to actually come back and make a huge gain from the the invasion of uh, chaos since I'm able to uh, take a lot of the land that uh, my allied my allies in the empire loses so I'm able to take that and I'm able to make huge gains and I take Altorf and we make tons of money I'm able to turn that around come on well, this time the outer resolve should go. Should I shouldn't need to uh, outer resolve that? Looking at how pitiful that army is. He's going around claiming towers, the bastard. Well, we can't be bothered chasing that idiot around. It's better to uh, get these guys ready for fight. The night goblins have some bit of infighting among themselves. Nice manufactories. Yes. Oh, 13 turns. That's going to take a while. Um, in the meantime, we will build warrior chambers. And this should be growth. And then over here. Let's see if we can actually get some roads built here. And then Warrior Hall. 
and highways were built here. Uh, can we build... what can we actually... we need something to build warriors here. Ah, he's moved away, nice. Manufactured death rockets. This would be nice, but we need something so we can actually recruit dwarfs. Which would be sewers, yeah. Um, ancient Hall of Warriors. And then we've got some farms built out here. Uh, you can build warrior chamber here as well, so we can recruit dwarves all over the place. Place ready for upgrades, so that will be the next thing. How much do I make right now? We'll actually go minus next turn. One, I can attack out and destroy these bastards. Oh, we strike in the night. Authority. I like this the small dwarf faces. He's got a lot of command, but his his dread is Do not translate, should never display here it should be chivalry. He's a walking bastion of uh, filth and whatnot. Ah oh yeah, we're recruiting orcs out here, and we should recruit orcs here. The draw together that we can keep in here, so we can actually move the main army onwards. Right, and these guys are coming down. These guys can go all the way actually. And then we have the general, right? Where did we have him? There. And he's on his way down here somewhere. While we wait, we can actually recruit more dwarves. We can see about maybe creating a, an entirely dwarf made army. Right, let's go ahead and turn again. Ah, look at that, the, uh, they've taken this, oh wait, is that the border princess? Interesting, the border princess has moved in and taken an area over there, we need a tower there somewhere, so the border princess has moved in over there, we need to upgrade this. Um actually temple first. Looks like we, yeah, we're running out of money quick, so no more uh, recruiting. And unfortunately, it goes for this place as well. But I think we can have some more melee. Actually, no. Oh, look at that. Cause these guys are needed. And then instead, we can retrain some of these guys that we brought in. And then, once the cannon arrives, that's going to take a while. That's going to take 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns. This army had a cannon. Maybe I should move. Well, we can move here quickly, then back there to hold that. As then the main leader goes for this. And this army, once that's ready, goes for this. And then maybe both of them can move down. Strange that the... They have taken, like, the main... Huh. Strange tidings. The border princes have managed to take a dwarf fortress. Oh, it looks like it f fell back into the dwarf's hand now. Are you gonna walk? Don't... Oh, no. Stupid AI. Are you gonna walk? No. They're gonna move back and forth, aren't they? Across this area, and I'm gonna have to watch it for every bloody turn. Ooh. Maybe I should just purposefully lose Cull Settlement. Purposefully make them revolt. Just to avoid looking at all this. Because if they're going to move like that constantly... That's going to be quite annoying. Uh, even bigger temple. This is our capital. Dogs of War camp. Slave market. Full plate. Large cow's barracks. Something cheap actually. Guild of inventors. That's good. We don't actually have that much money. House of bravery. Another shipwright. Or a temple. No, a temple wouldn't be needed up here. I think the Chaos Gods are pretty prevalent over there. Grand Barony of Hoshlan was destroyed. Right, I think we're gonna see about moving this army out. See if this is enough to actually. Yeah, it is actually enough to hold it. <laughs> Stefan Kessel. It says Count Gottfried, but if you played the Mark of Chaos, you know that that's Stefan von Kessel. Takes prisoners. Strike at those guys. Retrain that one. Maybe, ah, you know what I should do? Rather than have this, my main leader. Uh, dragging around this slave army. This guy should be in charge of the slave army. And he should take his cannon down with this dwarf army and march right here. If we're lucky, this might have come a bit closer next time. But mm, it would be nice to have two cannons. I can't recruit one yet down here. Eleven turns. That's gonna take a while. It's slow moving through all these hills. Especially since when I build the roads it doesn't even... They don't even show up.
Ah, uh, they still give me a gift even though I failed their assignment. We'll move around him so we don't get stuck. Lucas the Crusader. What's up with all these small armies moving around taking my sh shit? Take your cannon and go. We'll send our troops to meet him. I actually will send all of them. And then uh, we probably need some slaves to send against the wall in that army. Actually, yeah, let's save the money. Not sure why all the rebels turn up in my area to uh, mess about. I don't actually need him down there. Let's move you in there and I'll hope you ma maybe can manage the place a bit better. Get some coins rolling. Not entirely sure why all the uh, rebel guys like Stefan the Crusader or Bronzino or whatever he was called. Are they still going with those few troops? Well now it's easier sort of to attack it since there's less men inside the camp. But, uh, I've built a huge wall on it now, so I'm not entirely sure what they're thinking. We'll pick up the slaves and then one more turn for that guy. Which will take another spot, and then there's three more spots in this army, which could be three sneaky gits. Um, we need more money, dwarven mines, that's good. Do we make money from the manufacturing? No, we don't. Inventors? No, not that either. Sewers. Public health. Brewery. More farms. It would be nice if this army would actually reach in time so we can have two cannons there, but. Looks good, actually. Forging forwards. Take that settlement from them. And then you should be ready to march on that area, which is good. Is all hunky-dory. Right, another end turn. Way made a hundred more coins, I think.
That actually went rather quickly. We didn't even need to look at all those guys moving up here. Ostland was destroyed. Ah, the ogres are ready. Time for some smashing. We need some troops here that... Well, once they're uh, ready, we can put some orcs there. To give some... Uh, um, some, what's it called? Some troops to defend it, just in case. Oh crap, there's tons of them. Sort of can understand why they lost it now. Can, uh, can I go around? No. Or why they lost this. That's tons of them. Looking at the time though, it looks like we're gonna have to end it here, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Bye!